Can You Spare Some Change for Anti-Porn's Neediest by Mark Kearns. The Big Apple. Poor Patrick Truman, ever since he got roped into taking over the flagging censorship organization, morality, and media, contributions have been dropping like cow pies in a pasture. It's gotten so bad that MIM's flagship columnist, Ed Hines, who until 2010 contributed bi-monthly anti-porn, anti-sexual rantings in his view, A View from the Riverside Drive, declare, uh, delivered only two columns in 2010 and just one this year in January. Worse, the group's Wikipedia page doesn't appear to have been updated in several months since it lists Robert W. Peters as the group's president. He has a job he hasn't held since December 2010. And while the page notes that MIM received $150,000, A $150,000 in grant money in both 2005 and 2006 from the Justice Department's Bureau of Justice Assistance under uh, Bush Attorney General appointee Alberto, Gon Alberto Gonzalez to help pay uh, for the group's citizen-generated obscenity complaints from companion site obscenitycrimes.org, we're guessing that we're guessing those funds dried up after none of the 67,000 quote-unquote legitimate complaints the site generated led to any obscenity prosecutions as of August 2007. But damn it, they're still trying. Who can forget that wonderful campaign last April to get? federal legislators to sign an anti-porn pledge which uh, morality and media personally delivered to Attorney General Eric Holder. Why out of 500, why out of 535 senators and representatives they actually got 117 of them to sign? And what about that terrific phone your representative campaign in May where all one had to do was dial a toll-free number to be put through to an eager public servant at the Justice Department who'd gladly listen to you complain about all the damn sex just spilling out from all spilling out all over the place from your radio, TV, newspapers, and tinfoil hat antenna. I think we all remember how well that turned out. But stalwarts that they are, MIM quickly followed it up with a personal petition to President Obama and Miss Obama to urge Holder to order FB, the FBI to mount more mail order sting operations, resulting in no new obscenity prosecutions unless you count the extra charges added to Ira Isaac's docket. And then there was July's four-week campaign by PornHarms.org, MIM's sister organization that featured live online conferences, webinar, live online conferences, webinars, online movie screenings, Twitter uh, hashtags, live online events, YouTube videos, the works. But of course, all that stuff costs money, and now it appears that morality in media is broke. The economy is taking, quote, the economy is taking a great toll on pro non-profits like ours, Truman wrote in an email uh, sent to MIM fans like us on Monday. I don't like to approach you this way, but knowing of your keen interest in our work, I thought you would like to hear from us on this. Money is what the porn industry has, he continued cluelessly. We have people in growing numbers and with a great willingness and spirit to fight the scourge of pornography. I know it is a sacrifice for many of you to give your hard-earned money to help us in our fight, but you know that our small staff is um, making a major difference and we count on you. We need immediate help. There is no other way to say it. We have been very aggressive in our war on, po on the porn industry and we are fighting and the uh, and we uh, aggressive in our war on the porn industry and we are fighting on many fronts we have stretched even the smallest funds to accomplish great things apparently that plea didn't do a lot of good because on Tuesday he sent this quote I wrote to you yesterday telling you of our urgent need for funding Truman wrote urgently hey at Tom Swifty I profoundly thank you for the uh, thank those who gave we are far from our goal however frankly we need to raise forty thousand dollars in the next ten days I know from past experience that that amount is possible I also know that it will take some sacrifices on your behalf for which we are so grateful Infam emphasis added we have a very small staff, four, uh, four full-time people, he continued, and we keep costs down. We even discontinued using our mail ha mailing house and all mailings, such as our newsletter, fundraising appeals, etc., um, uh, et are done in our office to save our money. Your contribution goes a long way. Uh, goes a very long way. Poor Pat, even with that appeal, not enough people sacrificed because today we got this. 
We received many contributions yesterday, and it was so helpful, Truman probably lied. We are still far from our goal of $40,000, and our financial situation threatens us, but I am encouraged. Yet, I was saddened by the comments of some, he continued. One woman contributor wrote of how her family was torn apart by her husband's addiction to pornography and how it led to his suicide. I thought of, the, of how the porn industry tells, tells us that porn is empowering to women. What an insulting lie. <laughs> Committed suicide. Yeah, how dare the porn industry suggest that just because women get paid on average twice as much as men for sex scenes, often get to choose their partners and veto anybody they don't want to work with, and through, the, and through these scenes often get to uh, get a handle on what they like, don't like, and really like sexually, that's empowering to women. That That's empowering to women. What nonsense. And just look at all the good work MIM can, intends to do with that money you'll send them. Our battle against NBC to keep the Playboy Club from airing uh, on primetime this fall is picking up speed, Tuesday's email stated. Right now, we want to mail the top advertisers on NBC to urge them to use their influence to stop the show. We are also researching and writing a legal brief for the U.S. Supreme Court case of Fox v. NBC, the most important indecency case to come before the Supreme Court in nearly 40 years. We have been fighting this case for years, knowing that if it is lost, network TV will look like cable TV. With uh, network TV will look like cable TV with nudity and profanity prevailing in prime time. I hope you see how critical our presence in this case is. Of course, Truman meant Fox v. FCC, but we understand what a strain it is worrying about where the next dime to fight nudity and profanity prevailing in prime time is coming from. It breaks our hearts to think that think of poor, tired old Pat Truman standing out in Times Square in his $995 Versace collection pinstripe suit hat in hand, begging tourists and even those generous New York natives for just a few pennies to keep the war on illegal pornography carrying on. So won't you help? Just send whatever you can to morality and media at some address we can't find right now in New York City. And please, do it today. The next installment of uh, Deconstructing Pornland is currently in the works.